fourth grade and I wrote an essay on Susanna Dickinson and um, she is described as brave, smart, survivor, and a Christian. She is Susanna Dickinson. Susanna was born in 1814 in Tennessee in the county of Williamson. She was only 18 when she married Alma Ann Dickinson. They moved to Texas. There she had a daughter. Her name was Angelina. She was born on December 14th. In 1830, 1835, Alma Ann enrolled for the Army. But Susanna and Angelina stayed behind. A few weeks later, their house was robbed. After that, they lived in a boarding house until the war got a lot worse. They weren't there very long. After that, she lived in the Alamo. She was the only white woman of the Alamo. During the Alamo, Susanna was shot in the leg by some Mexicans. After the Mexicans went over the Alamo, they found her in the chapel. As they were taking the woman to Mexico, she thought she saw David Crockett's body laying around other people's. Then, once in Mexico, her leg was tended to by a Mexican doctor. She had to stay in bed and rest for a couple of days. When she was finally well, she was taken to Santa Ana. She was caught by surprise because right there in his lap laid her little daughter, Angelina. He asked if he could adopt her. He said there would be better schools in Mexico. She said no, he, so she, he sent her back to Texas with a letter. There she gave it to Sam Houston, who gave them shelter. After the battle was ever over, everything settled down. Susanna was still going. She married four more times. The first three were very unhappy. She married John Williams, Francis P. Hearing, Peter Bellows, and the, her very last but happy list, happiest, jo Joseph W. Hanning. After that, Susanna was not the only one getting married. Angelina was also getting married. In Susanna's last marriage, they lived in what is now Austin. Joseph owned a successful furniture store and cabinet shop. And... February 1883, she became very ill. They did not know she would die many months later. She died at the age of 69 on October 7, 1883. After her death on October 9, 1883, her husband wrote something two days after her death. He said how she was so brave during the Alamo and how she kept her spirits up at the same time. She is buried in Oakwood Cemetery and is still there to this day. After her death, even though he married again, Joseph was buried right next to her. Susanna was so brave when I grow up, I want to be just like her.